So take a quick look at the PD400X by Mono. Yes, a fantastic pro budget, pro level microphone. You're probably here because you're considering on going a little bit more pro, spending a little bit more on your audio to make yourself sound that much more better, right? More better is not a way to say it, but to make yourself sound better, <laughs> higher professional audio quality for your gaming, your streaming, your podcasting, all of those fantastic content creation ventures, then you might have stumbled upon the right video. <laughs> the way I stumbled upon the right word, stumbled what? Here is the awesome box in all of its beautiful glory. We have a lot of cool features built in. Jumping inside the box, of course, you get your manual, which you should have. And this goes into detail into how to connect it, all the features, including some tutorial and information on the software itself. We get an awesome microphone, obviously our PD400X. We get our little windscreen muff here. Ooh, that feels pretty hard, actually base plate for the stand itself and what cables do we get here we get an xlr obviously these xlr cables from mona are pretty good and you'll get a usb c to usb a it also doubles as usb c to usb c so you have double options here fantastic this should do a fantastic job at keeping your mic pretty stable this is a heavy base plate even though it's pretty small and on the bottom, you have some rubber grippers to keep your device from sliding. You, of course, you want to peel these little plastic pieces off. Sizable cushion here, actually. This thing is pretty large. Pulling our mic out in all of its glory here. This thing feels like it weighs about three pounds. Yes. Yeah, so if you're talking about going professional with this guy right here, there's going to be some weight on your boom arm. So make sure your boom arm, if you're going to use it on a boom arm, has the right tension to keep this guy in its position because woof, this guy is hefty. Off the rip, everything here is completely metal. Body, stand here, this little U-bracket that holds it. And well, the little notches here that tighten it into place are plastic. And the button here is plastic. You had a nice click that is probably actually the click is kind of quiet here. Nice and somewhat subdued click. Awesome because the PD200X has a very loud click and clicking it probably is going to switch you from your monitoring to your game controls and a touch sensitive mute button right here on the front. So just touching it, which is awesome, right? I wish the PD200X had this you will be able to mute it with just a nice little tap on the body. And of course you get your nice grate. This is dynamic capsule. So the top is where you would speak into. So awesome sauce as well. And let's look at what ports we're getting on this XLR. Obviously we're gonna go through XLR to check to test the XLR audio quality. USB-C, we'll test that. We have a monitoring port here and we have on the fly EQ here. So it's probably gonna be some low pass, high pass, probably a presence boost or something of that nature. When you turn the knob, it does not, has a very slight quiet click. You can't hear it, but you can feel it. And I presume these little LEDs light up as you're turning your knob. So this thing for all intents and purposes, looks beautiful. I'm not the biggest fan of branding that way on your microphones, but it's kind of small enough and out of the way to kind of get away with. All right, let's plug this in and see what we're getting for our 150 bucks in terms of audio quality. Let's do it. Looks like we have a pretty hot and high signature there with the higher frequencies right there spiking up. So we're going to get some uh, pretty clear, crisp audio. I'm kind of worried about the high end and the hissing but we'll take a look at that it is cardioid so that is the pattern this will be picking up at at this price point you're getting a nice 24 bit rate here we are with some monitoring and off the rip the audio impression i'm getting off of this is that it has a pretty high noise floor right now i have no filters or anything going you can hear some hvac noise going So 
the noise floor is pretty high. The gain is definitely much higher than that of the PD200X. So you're gonna get some louder audio. So right now you're hearing a specific EQ because I'm running off of USB-C to my PC. And right now it comes out of box with a flat EQ. But if you look on the back of here, there are three different modes, actually five modes, if you're going by the combination mode. So the first mode is flat mode, and this is the audio quality. The second mode is high pass filter, and this is the quality of the high pass filter. You notice that I'm losing a little bit of bass here. So the bass has been mitigated a little bit, but I also hearing more of the midtones and highs here, and those hisses are loud, but we'll check those hisses in a second, along with plosives. And the last mode here is presence boost and this is presence boost alone and this is the audio quality via usb c and if you press it again and hold it you will get high pass filter plus presence boost now this is in the manual and as i was going through the manual i didn't see this last mode and this last mode is where all three leds on the back are lit up and that's high pass mode with presence boost as well as with flat mode I don't know what that does. You'll see that all three of the lights light up and we'll have a full encompassing, full volume, um, I guess, full richer audio capturing of my voice. I kind of like all three of these combined together with all of them on high pass, present boost, as well as the flat mode, which just is not advertised or shown in the manual. And I think this is my favorite of all three hardware modes between this one and just a standard presence boost this may be the best how does it compare to the pd 200x that's the next video we'll do a battle between those two and we'll see if i'm actually going to remain using the pd 400 x it's going to be one of these two mics that i end up using this one or that one so just know that i'll end up using one of those for sure but which one stay tuned now let's see what this sounds like with this little wind muff, this little windshield, because right now it's picking up a lot of some plosives. I'm pretty close to the microphone as well as hissing. And so I want to see if this is going to do anything to mitigate any of those things. Wow, this is big muff, but it's also a very tight fit here. God, go in. Okay, if the shoe fits, wear it. This was an OJ mic. It would be proclaimed innocent. What? God, I can't get it on. All right. Finally got it on. This is the audio quality with the little wind muff on this microphone. What does this quality sound like? I think this also sounds fantastic. It is, in fact, mitigating a little bit of my explosive breath. What? Let's do some plosive tests with the wind muff on and off, starting right now. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, poured them into a pitcher profusely. Here we go, plosives without the wind muff. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, and poured them into a pitcher profusely. Yep, it is picking up plosives that much more if you're talking directly into it. But if you're talking with the mic facing the corner of your mouth, the Peter Piper pickers, what? Don't get picked up as much, so you won't get the plosives. I wouldn't advise talking into your microphone. Like now let's try some hissing with the wind muff on. Caesar eats his salad with snakes and partners with Superman just to have some fun those s's are pretty pronounced so you're getting some hisses it's kind of sounds like it's kind of equivalent to the pd 200x caesar eats salad with snakes with a little bit of salad dressing with superman this is a pretty sensitive dynamic microphone there is a third option relative to the button on this device itself you can control monitoring you can control gain and then there's monitor mix Monitor mix is essentially controlling your PC audio, for example, and your mic levels, your mic audio. And the monitor mix mode is the headset plus the mic combined. It's the blue and the green lights. Once those are on, you have the capability of turning the knob and you'll see it by this pink or purplish indicator. And as you start going more and more towards the headset, you completely blank out headset audio. Yes, you're essentially muting the headset audio only through monitoring, not through your recording, not through your PC, meaning you can only hear your PC audio 
and not the mic monitoring. But as you switch it and you go towards, let's say, 50 percentile, you'll hear your monitoring and you'll also hear your PC audio at the same time. So in case you didn't want to hear your audio from your microphone, for example, you didn't want to hear yourself, you can turn the monitoring mix so that it's off or you can switch it vice versa and turn the PC audio down only in monitoring, right? Both are still going to stay and remain the levels that is set to record at on your machine or output to your external source. So that's only on the monitoring side for your purposes only in case you wanted to hear one or the other. That's yet another added pro feature on this microphone. All right, take it to gamers. So here we are with the Mona PD400X and the Mona Link software. That's right. This Mona Link software works for the PD200X as well as the 400X, the DM2030. It's limited microphone, so be sure to check which mic works with the Monolink applications. There's a couple of different versions of the application that's dedicated to specific devices, so check the site before you start asking questions. Hey, this doesn't work with my microphone because it's probably not compatible or set up for it. All right, moving right along, PD400X with the Monolink software. Disregard all this noise you hear in the background because, well, you know, I live by elevator. What? And you will see the image pop up on the application once your USB is connected to your machine, to your PC, to your Mac, and you just click the device and you are in the house. And right now I am in the advanced setting because, well, this is probably in the mode I was in for my PD200X, but let's start over in the standard setting, right? So now when we're in standard setting, there are various different settings and they are advanced. So a number of things you could do with the Monolink app. Control your mute, of course, you mute it on the app, control the volume levels, your headphone volume level, as well as your monitor mix. So that's kind of stuff you can do on board on the microphone, including some of the EQ things. But let's take a look right now. We are on legacy and this is the legacy audio quality at a mid range. So this is set to a specific kind of gain or pickup that is made for you speaking about, I don't know, six inches to be probably less than a foot away, right? Right here is probably ideal, and it's going to pick me up and pick up more noise as well in the room. But let's start over here at deep. What happens when you go into deep? Okay, so there is some deepening, adding a little extra bass, bassiness to the mo the vocals, to mid-tones. And if we go over to natural, one, two, three, four, five, natural, one, two, three, four, five, this seems like it's probably the standard mode for your microphone, the way it comes out of box. Sounds pretty good. Let's go over to bright and see what bright, oh, bright definitely brings up those mid to high tones. So it's not a little bit more crispier, louder and clean. So not a bad mode if you're looking to get your vocals picked up nice and crispy and clear. And legacy, which was the first one, which sounds okay. I don't know what's the difference between legacy and natural. Natural has a little bit more deepness to it. And legacy here has a little bit of uh, a little more brightness to it, a little more presence boost, I think. Uh, that could be a presence boost setting there somewhere in legacy. But either way, these are the settings. You can choose whichever you like out of these. Bright is kind of a little too crispy for me. This is picks up every time your, your tongue moves in your mouth. All right, so I'm gonna keep it on natural, which is the out of box way. And then we have on the bottom, we have some distance, I guess, proximity settings for lack of a better term. Uh, oh, it says distance right there. What's wrong with you? Say, pay attention. Near, so near is probably going to be the lowest pickup or gain level. And it's probably designed so that you're talking like this with the mic. Microphone check one, two on the near setting. So as you stand back, probably not picking it up so well. Maybe it is, but you're getting a lot of reverb. So let's go ahead, reverb. Bourbon, you want some bourbon? You drink alcohol? Why? Let's switch from near to mid at the same distance, about six to eight inches away. And you're gonna see that it picks me up a little bit more. That gain boosts, so to speak, a little bit of amplification there. Getting the vocals, getting a little bit more noise floor as well. And from far, obviously, that gain is going to be way up. Yes, you can get about a foot away and it's going to pick you up kind of operating in a condenser fashion, right? Being able to pick you up from a distance with a louder gain. So if you don't want to have to be hugging your mic all the time, then you can just utilize that 
far range method. In advance, there are several other options aside from these top options you see up here, which are the same as they are in standard. Going down, we have an EQ mode. Yes, we have EQ. There is a, I guess, presets of EQ here along the bottom with these symbols stand for. This is probably flat. Uh, high pass filter, presence boost, and high pass filter with presence boost. I know these because I've done it with the PD200X. But then you have another button here. Yep, you have a custom button here, and you can get into some EQing of your microphone in a more granular fashion. That is correct. So here is probably bass, midtones, and high end. So if you bump that high end up, expect to get that super crispy audio coming out of this high end microphone but it comes with a cost at heavy, heavy hissing. So you may not want that. We set that and if you go to midtones, this is probably going to bump up my vocals, but it also sounds a little bit cloudy there too. Almost like AM radio from the 1950s. <laughs> what? And if you go too low, you're gonna sound a little low. Basically your midtones are kind of super muffled. So you don't want that either. So you can adjust these modes and of course bass, bumps it up all the way to the top and you get that heavy duty bass if you max it out. All right, let's reset that. And if we go to advanced, you get more bands. That's right, you get, uh, what is this? Seven bands of EQ. So you start off with the high ends, right? This is probably the previous one we just tested. Testing one, two, yep. Makes that nice and bright vocal audio. You can probably just tweak it just a little bit. Get those hisses up. You can get your voice super crispy like this. And if you feel like there's too many hisses because pres presently Superman, this right here can reduce some of those hisses right here. That sounds pretty good. Just take it all the way down. But you can actually amplify the brightness of your voice ever so slightly. Maybe I would pick that up just a little bit. Keep it right there, perhaps. And then you start getting more into the mid ranges, right? You can bump up or reduce your mid range audio. Pretty cool. Everyone knows how an EQ works, right? I hope. And we're going to go over here to the, some of the presets. Starting off the first preset, we have flat, which is probably the way it kind of comes out of box. Doesn't necessarily mean it sounds flat. Just a description, basically. You have that flat EQ going straight across, which is your out-of-box experience, probably. Then you have high-pass filter. You get a little bit of those low ends drop down, and you have the high highs and mid mids a little bit up. Then next to it, you have presence boost, and this is going to boost that vocal audio. If you look at the shape of the line here, that's kind of like indicative of the way your eq bands would look so this is like the mid level being bumped up so that's your vocals and then you get the bass drop with the high pass filter so you're getting your low ends dropped off and then your mids raised up a little bit so it sounds okay i just don't like it without the bass i'd like to keep that probably right here presence boots for me is the way to go and then you have gain control right you can bump up that gain to whatever you like 100 percent, or you can drop it down i'm going to keep it right here where it was 80 ish 80 is good on the bottom you have some limiter and compressor settings now i've gone through this before you can set your limiter so that you can prevent yourself from getting too loud or clipping your audio same for compressor now the additional thing you see here is there's three little dots you don't get that with the PD200X in my test or the DM30. DM30, DM20 is a condenser microphone, so. But with this, you get that additional limiter setting so you can actually uh, set up your attack and release options, right? And you can control your compressor settings here, which is actually quite nice. And that is the gist of your settings here in advanced. And as you switch from standard to advanced, your audio changes according to whatever setting each of these are set to. So in standard, if I have it on natural and that's, I have it set to far, then my audio is gonna get lifted up a little bit high, set it to mid, kind of control it. And if I switch over to advanced, it's gonna go and change it to the settings that are set on advanced mode. And when you close your app, it's gonna remain on the last setting you have here on your mono link while the app is closed. So yes, it makes the change kind of on a hardware level because 
Well, these EQ levels are set. You can set them on the microphone manually as well with the button, but this gets a little more granular into those settings. Switching over to XLR, switching shirts, switching days. What? Right now is a good sample of what this microphone sounds over XLR because, well, I have it at full gain over my AU AM100 mono mixer, and you can hear the ridiculous airport I have next door to me in the closet. What? That gain floor is high, but the range on this is also very high. I can kind of step back like a condenser microphone and speak from a distance. I mean, you get reverb, but you get pickup. You can pick me up, provided that I turn off my HVAC. I don't have to be hugging the microphone over XLR because the gain on this just seems to be ever so slightly, maybe more than slightly higher than over USB-C. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the audio quality with close proximity and a pretty relative decent level of gain. And if I step back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is about six to eight inches away. Now this audio mixer by Mono does have a hardware denoise switch. So I'm going to switch that on. And we're gonna hear some of this fan noise anyway, just drop out and we're gonna see what this audio quality sounds like. Right now it sounds fantastical, but sometimes denoise kind of ruins that, you know? So let's see what it looks like. One, two, three. That has dropped out the fan noise. It is completely quiet. Audio quality of the PD400X with a little bit of denoise running through XLR. Peter Piper picked a pack of Pepsis, popped them, and poured them into a pitcher profusely. And Susie had a salad with Superman while singing in her shorts in the sun. I feel like I'm losing just ever so slightly a little bit of the crisp. Whew, but not the hiss. I'm losing a little bit of that crispiness because of the noise suppression. You're kind of canceling out some sound ranges because of the suppression. But otherwise, I can still get away with this and sound as professional as possible. Possible. The PD400X Techsy Game is on the Tech Zone Gaming Show. So, what do I think of this device overall? This is one of Mono's better and best dynamic professional microphones coming in at 150 bucks. This is going to be my replacement for the PD200X. That is correct. I will be using this now going forward as my daily driver. We want to go ahead and promote elevating ourselves right you as well as me into the more professional realm going from budget microphones 50 60 bucks and jumping up into professional dynamic or condenser microphones whatever have you so this is already in that pro realm tapping into the sure sm7b's and you may want to get this and not spend 500 bucks for a microphone that probably sounds very similar Maybe better in some respects and maybe not so great in some respects. But overall, I think this audio quality is pretty good. Right now, I'm running it over XLR and I really enjoy the audio quality. The proximity is improved from the PD200X. So now that I can stand back and talk into it and not worrying about having to be on it so much because, well, the PD200X does not have that superior gain pickup. The, the way this one does and the way many other microphones I've put it, pit it up against, including the five fine mics, the PD200X is great at just the gain and the hardware mute button was a terror. Here is a little touch sensitive mute button on top, which God, that is a lifesaver. And even the button where you can change your monitoring and your mic uh, audio controls, volume control, gain control. The click is much lower and better than it was on the PD200X. PD200X was very hard, those buttons. So those were my only real gripes with it. I don't have RGB with this. I mean, I got enough RGB in the background, but hey, I'll, I like this sleek, awesome look. One thing I will say about this mic it is it is heavy. I don't even know how much it weighs, but I'll put it here on the screen because I probably looked it up and put it on the screen, but it's heavy. So. It was heavy enough to weigh down this boom arm that I've been using for multiple microphones. And um, I have to go into it and tighten it a little bit, but just by kind of moving it, you see that the weight, 
the weight of this mic is serious because it is all hardcore metal. The built-in features with this microphone, everything on the back of this is rings awesome all the way down to EQ settings with the click of a button here on the back, which is awesome. You got five different EQ settings you can set with the button so you don't have to go into the Monolink app, for example, if you don't want to, but the Monolink app is a lot more granular than what you can do on, the, on that button there. So I'd recommend getting that Monolink if you're going to be using it via USB-C to adjust your audio just the way you like, because you got EQ options, standard, advanced, seven band EQ, and you can kind of tweak the microphone and make it, we're talking pro level stuff here. So they're giving you kind of somewhat pro level features in the app with additional EQ and sound settings. So impressive. All right, Mona, I see you out there paying attention to us. Uh, this has been out for a while. This is not a new mic, but um, those features built into the app are relatively new. So those those are recently included. The look it is a fairly OK size. This is the Mono PD 200 X. So we're not talking about much of a different size. Honestly, if you look at it right, looking at it here on the camera, they're roughly the same size, even roughly almost the same thickness. The PD 400 X is ever so slightly thicker. Definitely double the weight, at least almost double the weight of the Mono PD 200 X. It doesn't have a shock mount, but so you're not really getting noise. All right, take it again. So this does absolutely make the pass on the Tech Toys and Gaming Show. This is my new daily driver. This was my previous one. So um, I plan to make a head to head dynamic battle between the Mono PD 200 X and the 400 X. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you subscribe, like set the notifications so that way when this drops, you're first in line to see the video because I think this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a really good challenge. There's going to be a lot of things that this is probably good at or better at than this, even though it's $150 versus $50, $60. So you just never know. So, uh, yeah, pay attention. If you're interested in seeing the full review of the PD 200 X, if this is the way you want to go before doubling into this, then check out the video right here. I have done a full on review of what this device is all about. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Well, I'll see you once you click on this video to see the video. <laughs> all right. Later.